So we're back in Hessen again, and we're going to get the chance to meet uh, Erling Strand, and we're going to get to go to a UFO camp, and things have been seen there. So we're back in Hessel again, and we're going to get the chance to meet uh, Erling Strand. He's kind of the father of the phenomenon here in Hessel, and he's been at this for 35 years. We're going to be uh, checking out camps. There's a camp way over there in the mountains. There's a camp way over there in the mountains. And we're going to get to go to a UFO camp. That's um, sort of like a teepee style accommodation has been set up on the hillside with a glass ceiling, windows you can look out when you're sleeping, and things have been seen there. Um, they've now had it open for two summers, and guests have written many stories about how different things have been seen in their cameras and in their videos and so on, and we're going to go there while we're here. There's no hot water. So we're a little rough today mm, until are. the plumber comes and fixes the hot water. But that's kind of our base. We're going to stay here tonight. We're going to sky watch, and I'm going to set up the WMD right here. And we're going to look over to the mountains. This is beautiful. This is called a UFO camp. It's at Hessel in Norway here. And we're going to stay here tonight. Okay, this is the handle. It looks like a, uh, not a moose horn, but some kind of horn. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look inside. Oh my gosh, Liz. So, wooden stove, place to eat, and I believe these are the cots. So I've been here for a few days already, and every night there's been sightings. And I've gone up to the post a couple times, and I've actually seen photos, time-lapse photos, and it's the craziest thing. It looks like puddles of light on the ground. It can be in the air. They can move very fast right down the valley in just seconds from one end of the valley to the other. Are you going to stay here tonight or? We are. We'll be here till as long as we can survive. <laughs> is this the first time you've come here? Yes. It is. Yes. It How is. are you finding it so far? You know, I love it. I um, this has been on one of my list of places to go, and I've been going to all of the hot spots all around the okay, world to do research. This is, in my opinion, the most important place on the planet for scientific research. Absolutely. Yeah. We think the phenomenon's around tonight because. Some of our equipment is messing up, Marcus. Uh, well, that's happened before. It kind of puts out like this EMP, electromagnetic pulse, we think. We don't know. Okay, so at the UFO camp, we took some time lapse or at least time exposure pictures. And this is showing the northern lights uh, in the background here. And you can see in these two pictures, there's this white thing. There it is there, and here it is here. And we have no idea what that is. You can see that it doesn't appear here, but it appears here, there, and there. So in these three pictures, there's nothing in this picture, uh, nothing in that picture. But this picture is here and here, and this picture is here. So we have no idea what it is. We have had many things show up in pictures over the three years that we've been working on this. Um, things that you can't see with your eyes, but they show up in the cameras because cameras can see a little bit into the infrared and ultraviolet. So once again, we have an unknown object in the picture. 